Hey guys, what's up? It's both your one and only, and today we're gonna be playing Neoverse. And yes, this is a, another roguelike deck builder game. <laughs> I I know I've been on like a train with this because I actually really enjoy these games, especially like Slay the Spire and um, the Full Moon video I uploaded yesterday. But these games are actually really addictive. So I wanted to try this one because this one actually was pretty interesting from what I saw. Developers at Tenno Games actually gave me a key to actually play this game. So yeah, we're going to try it out. Hold on, let's look at some tutorials. I need to know what's going on. Is there anything different from others? Seems like it's going to be a quick video. Okay, the music sounds like it overlaps. Let's just go in. That that's already a big negative. And I do need to turn the music down. Actually, that is this. Let's turn everything down. That the music really needs to go down. Not my right monitor resolution. There we go. Alright, so there are three characters. So to play as her first, clear the game. Then I can play as her. Then I probably have to clear with the game with her, then I gotta come over here. Alright. Notice. Multiverse work will be ready soon. Prepare for the new journey. So this is my goad. This is my HP. What is this? My skill points. My skill points look like crystals. <laughs> this is the stage I'm on. I guess this is how much time I spent on battles. Okay. Uh, let's go into battle mode. No more battle. Let's see. So we got shielding. Decrease over heat. Okay, at the start of the turn, max HP is reduced by the amount remaining of the points. Uh, I don't think I like that. So that's pretty much poison damage. Okay. I don't think I have any, like, overheat. The real question is, what would overheat look like at that point? Alright, this kind of needs to go down too. <laughs> I realized. But yeah, pretty neat game so far. I actually like the, um... I actually like the animations a little bit. Makes you look pretty sick. So we have different cards. We have deal a damage, create a random shoe card. Actually, it sounds pretty nice. Increase armor by five. Increase armor by eight. Send a card back into your hand. I want the random shoe card, to be honest. Okay, so over it is to see it upgraded. Alright. 
there is a data store. Now oh, we're going to keep going. Oh, there it is. During this turn, each shot card reduces mana costs. Increase overheat. And let's reduce that. <laughs> let's not have the worst thing of my life going on. Since you're saying it reduces max HP. Hold up. Let me read that one more again. So is it just like taking... You know, I'm curious. I'm curious what it does. So I'm going to try and overheat next time. See what happens. Oh, just kill him. <laughs> like, I really hope it doesn't take, like, my max max HP. I hope it just takes HP off me. Because that would suck. Not for Sill. Okay. So these aren't relics. They are actual like potions and stuff. So is there no relics in the game? Or is there? Maybe I just haven't fought a boss yet. Maybe that's what it is. And let's go to the supply crate. Ah, skill points. Perfect. Elite battle. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds like fun. Oh my god, it's an actual fucking drill. <laughs> uh, please, please don't. Oh my god, that's... Oh. Um, damage, sir. That's a lot of damage. Okay. Immunity. Okay. I just honestly wanted another card. That's going to be a lot of damage, but I think we'll be fine. Ah, oh, I took t 10 damage. That's always nice. Okay, no, you're not going to be shielding here, though. God damn it, 20 shield? Of course. Of course. And dear God, sir. Come on now. I want to try the overheat thing and see what happens. Jeez, that does like a lot of damage. The hell's that? In the next two turns, deal deal damage using three attack. Um, no, please. Let's start shooting. 
It was, it was fun using all that, but now we got a shield. Okay, and a whole bunch of poison. Great. Ah, no. My cards. I was so close. I should have enough defense cards. Ah, radiation doesn't go directly to HP. It goes directly to... That sucks. Why does radiation automatically go to... Um, shield? That sucks to see, man. Really sucks to see. Increase force and overheat equal to the current overheat, huh? So what is force? Gives one damage point per point when using attack card or enemy attack. Restores HP for the amount equal to radiation. Place radiation. So that could have been helpful when I was in that fight. I mean, could skip too. Random events. I mean, our HP is low, but you know what? Fuck it, let's go. The device is vibrating while emitting a blinding light on the corner of the room a researcher in a white lamp gown was trembling and mumbling it was almost impossible to make out the words but soon you were able to make sense of it stop the device ah uh, i mean fuck it why not for the sake of content we gotta go forward Sounded like the researcher wanted you to stop this device. Sparks. Um. Oh wow! It would be amazing if they shield the card over to the side like um, Slate Aspire did. But fuck it. I like taking risks. You know, it's actually really fun to take risks. That's the real fun about roguelike games. You gotta take risks to survive. Uh, no more battles again? Yeah, let's go for it. Oh, oh god. Uh, well. My guy has 9 damage coming my way. Uh, let's use this again. I love how I'm just recycling now back and forth. <laughs> this side effect to the hand okay I'm gonna just try to heal by one reduce the overheat wait what Oh, well, that's not fun. Okay. We're gonna guard towards that. Okay. 
<laughs> I can say it's actually pretty unique so far. For sure. There we go. Draw three cards added to your hands. At the start of the turn, if the push. Wait. At the start of the turn, if player has no radiation, receive one radiation point. I mean, it is kind of smart to like radiate yourself then cleanse yourself afterwards just to stack up for that like hill that could also be a strat too I'm gonna take readjust another random event let's go for it you have found something that you cannot identify there is no way of describing it but you see it visibly. Uh, let's go for. Oh, um, I uh, Tatama game. Why do you do this? Why do you make me do decisions I'll regret later? <laughs> Uh, elite battle? Oh, fuck. I need to heal and use my skill points. I don't... <laughs> fuck. No. Okay, we gotta, we gotta take a different approach here. Oh. I should've just took the elite battle. What the fuck? <laughs> so what's this? Apply weaken. Increases armor. Okay. I just basically got the same cards. What the fuck? <laughs> that was a waste. I mean, maybe I'll be fine. Maybe. Not a guarantee, though. I definitely need to kill him. Because he's going to be like a huge issue. Alright. So now, I have nothing to block that with. Fuck. Please give me a guard. Thank you. I about to say, I'll at least take one. Just don't let him over damage me like that. Ah, oh, oh, fuck. Oh. Decay? Okay. As long as he isn't doing any Shane shit like his buddy is about to do. Let's get rid of that shield. Ah, damn. That would have been a good opportunity to use that. Okay, so they're all just using the effects right now. And dead. In turn, what the hell? <laughs> Alright. I just need to stay alive until I make it to a shop. That's all. That's all I need right now. Um, let's see if I can find another guard here. Haha! Mm. -ha. Please don't put another freaking decay on me. GG's. Ah, oh, 12 HP. It is not 
feel good right now. <laughs> oh, God. I definitely need more armor. Ooh, yes, please. A med kit would be amazing. Appreciate it. Now I can use my skill points, finally. Oh, wait. Um, guys, we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> we're, we are not going to talk about it. I did not realize that I could use my skill points the whole time. But the bright side, we figured out that you could buy skill points. I mean, even though I didn't really... Mm. We're not going to talk about it. Uh, actually, that sounds pretty interesting. Hold up. So this one is... If the player has armor, is immune to radiation. At the start... Oh, at the end of the battle, reduce the max HP. Okay, it just reduces. With one radiation to self. A random skill. Go for it. Why not? Oh. Alright, nice. I think I like the random skills better. Let's see, got any other good cards? Bring that back up, take another random one. Draw a shooting card and add it to your hand. Alright, let's get out of here. Another lab? I will take that. Because we need all the hills we can get from what we learned. Okay, here goes, here goes the boss. Let's see if we can do it. Oh my god, that HP. Oh my god, that damage. Take a little bit of damage. How long will this last? Decently long. Ah! God damn it! I don't know why I was really excited to use that. Now it's all gone. Damn it, game. <laughs> Alright, so now I won't be taking damage from that. I can use this opportunity to get that shield out of here. good oh yeah just keep getting my shields I, I appreciate that one a lot to be honest dude calm down jeez 17 damage now chill Chill, 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 chill. Ain't no rush.
just increase the radiation by more. We're gonna be taking a lot of damage here. Jesus. Yeah, just go back into shielding, gosh. Thank you. Alright, 12 radiation, so that's just gonna add on to even more. Perfect. I do not like that. That's literally 22 damage, can we not? And just say we did? I don't want to draw any more shooting cards right now. Yep, that hurts. Got to get a little bit of a heal off that. Um, let's do this. Let's do this. I mean, the heal's not going to do much, to be honest, but still. Jeez, this guy is, like, really aggressive, and I do not have a lot of block cards. Note to self, this character does not go into a lot of block cards. <laughs> That's why I have to deal with that turn. Eee. Alright, all my cards should reshuffle. Well, that's not good. I don't see this going well. I mean, he's almost dead. I just realized I have three radiation on me. That sucks. Let's see if I can take off a little bit of that. Yep, I'm dead. No way in hell I'm living that. This sucks, dude. I did not build right. Oh, and I... Once again, out of cards. Okay. I don't even feel like I got healed off that. What the hell? I definitely did not get hit off that. Alright, so that's how much we did. Hey, at least we got to the end of the boss. That was actually pretty fun. Alright guys, that's where I'm going to be stopping for Neoverse. Hope you guys enjoyed. It was actually not that bad, to be honest. The graphics were actually pretty interesting. Very different from the other games I played. But I could definitely say it's worth a try. And if they are going to keep going with it, there definitely needs to be a lot more to it. Like adding in new characters, um, more cards. And if they could, they could add in like a Steam Workshop to where people can make their own like characters, models and stuff like that. That's what really helped um, Slate Aspire expand after a while. Because Slate Aspire has like this whole creation thing to where you can just make like your own events, your own... Um, what was it? Your own cards, like items, stuff like that. Your character can do like unique stuff. Yeah, I, I would recommend the Steam Workshop just to keep it like fresh once players play through it the first time. But they would have to come up with like a good tool to help players out with that though. Hmm. That'd be interesting. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. And to then, peace out. That was actually really fun.
lot to lose.